Hey guys, Big Square, RoadToRuda.com. In the Jeep once again, cruising around. Um, did want to talk about one thing today. Bitcoin trading trigger points. Da, da, da. I'm not a trader. I, <laughs> not a, I'm not a trader, US government. Uh, no, I'm not a trader. And, uh, but I do know what the traders look like and look for. And I'm not a manipulator, but I know what the manipulators look for as well. So let me give you some tips and hints because Bitcoin is <clears throat> going off the charts. We're at, uh, I think, uh, 1750 or 1850, depending on what chart you're looking at, what trading exchange you're looking at. So it's really interesting time for Bitcoin because the big guys are going to want to two things. They're going to want to take some profits and they're going to want to load up again. Um, so most likely they will force a slam down in Bitcoin and we've seen it in silver. I watched it in silver for 15, 16, 17 years now. So let me give you a little hint of what's about to happen in Bitcoin. Bitcoin's had a great run. It's getting a little tired. People don't want to chase it when it's high, even though the value prospects for Bitcoin in the long run are off the charts. Uh, traders are going to look to manipulate something and force a slam down so they can load up again for the next run up. I think it'll be a short term slam down, but the question is where are they going to slam down from? And there's, I have identified, in all my brilliance, no, <laughs> I have used other people's uh, methodologies and from what I've seen, there are three things coming up that could be the trigger point for the next slam down in Bitcoin. It won't get slammed down below you know anything it hasn't got already got up a lot more so don't you know those long-term holders of Bitcoin don't be sad don't be scared don't be confused when there's a pullback <clears throat> what they'll tell you in the mainstream is oh this is just a natural pullback uh, nothing is natural when it comes to the type of money we're looking at that these big players uh, force the market around with billions and billions of dollars there's nothing natural about that but it is uh, almost time and here are the three trigger points number one one thousand nine hundred dollars per bitcoin one thousand nine hundred dollars for bitcoin <clears throat> this is the old high of gold one thousand nine hundred dollars and that once it hits that there's going to be a lot of talk about the relationship between gold and Bitcoin, which is good. It gets it into people's minds. Um, but it probably is a great trigger point for the orchestrated slam down of Bitcoin. <clears throat> Sorry, I got another cough. I'm barely getting over my, my sickness, but I'm doing everything I'm supposed to uh, with the Cliff Highs jelly and, and my chloral silver and vitamin C and all that. Anyway, moving on. So the, the traders slash riggers are going to look at $1,900 as a point to slam gold down. Even the central bankers will look at that point and say, no, Bitcoin is no, uh, no gold. There's no way there's a relationship. Um, so we'll see what happens at $1,900 for Bitcoin. And I think uh, it, it could hit it really quickly up here. And then probably get some kind of slam down. Don't worry about the slam down. It, it's not going to last long and it might be painful and I'm sure they'll come out with a story as well. Well, this is why this happened and most likely it'll be orchestrated and triggered out of the Japanese exchanges because they're really the, the ones with the gigantic volume now of fraudulent trading. Uh, the Japanese government has not clamped down on the uh, rigged exchanges for Bitcoin uh, like China did. China absolutely shut down the rigging and now they have honest exchanges because they know what's coming for Bitcoin and but Japan has not so the majority of trades happen in the Japanese market so the the electronic rigging will probably begin there and you know I wouldn't be surprised if there's another Mt. Gox episode thrown out there as the reason for the slam down in Bitcoin so that's your first trigger point $1,900 the second trigger point is right above there $2,000 People love to look at $2,000, $1,000, any big round numbers and say that is a psychological resistance. And so it might blow through the 1900 and hit 2000 
and then get slammed down right before it hits 2000. That's another potential possibility. Uh, all of it orchestrated by the bigger players and all they want to do is one, book profits and number two, load up again. So what do you do? You, you sell a bunch of Bitcoin when it hits these trigger points and then you stock up on cash for the next uh, bottoming and, and they love to throw a story out there too. So most likely come along with a, a lovely story. Oh, the ETF wasn't approved or uh, you name it. Uh, there's some chaos in the Bitcoin market. They start the uh, waterfall by dumping a bunch of Bitcoin on the market and then buy it back when it's three, four, five, six hundred dollars lower, uh, which is all possible and all likely, truthfully. You just don't know where the trigger point is. And then the third trigger point, after 1900, 2000, the third trigger point is uh, is a bigger one because it's the doubling of the old highs. Remember Mount Gox was in there. Uh, a lot of people, I think the intraday trading was close to uh, $1,200 at the peak of Mount Gox and then all the the chaos happened. Mount Gox was not a, uh, a hack. It was not a hack. It was the fact that these exchanges were dealing in a fractional reserve system and people wanted to take their Bitcoin out of Mt. Gox. And of course, Mt. Gox did not even own any Bitcoin or very little Bitcoin. It was about 600,000 coins is what they owned at the time. Uh, they didn't own it. That were deposited with Mt. Gox, but they were trading in many, many, many multiples of that uh, every day. It was insane the volumes because these aren't when you put your Bitcoin or your money into an exchange these are not blockchain uh, recorded trades these are trades within that exchange back and forth you trading with the hedge funds so stay out of exchanges um, but anyway so a doubling of the old Mt. Gox high uh, would be another trigger point and that's around twenty three hundred twenty four hundred dollars um, and I do think that'll be another point where and it might you know Bitcoin might drop at the 19 2000 range and then um, go down quite a bit hover around lower 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 everybody's saying you know Bitcoin is dead we've heard that mantra how many times now um, but it will revive itself again it's in a long-term bear market if you look at you know close your eyes and hold your Bitcoin which is what I tell people to do just hold your eye, close your eyes and hold your Bitcoin because two, three, four years from now, that Bitcoin is going to be worth massive amounts of money. And it has to do a lot with the, uh, the I almost crashed. <laughs> has to do a lot with the collapsing of the unbacked fiat system and Bitcoin's role in our future, in the future of money. Um, so yeah, uh, my suggestion is anybody who doesn't want to lose their money, just Take your Bitcoin off the exchanges, off the online wallets, put it in a paper wallet or or a offline uh, electronic storage like a Trezor uh, wallet, and then close your eyes because the volatility is gonna be insane. And the downdrafts are gonna be a lot quicker and more painful than these updrafts. You know, right now we're in an updraft and I think it's 17, probably at $1,800 uh, today or tomorrow, and then uh, who knows where we go from there. You will be fine if you just sit and close your eyes and it won't give you a heart attack. And you actually, you kind of get to a point when you understand how these things are rigged, you kind of look forward to the, the slams because it gets it out of the system and gets all the froth, all the weak hands out of the system and then you're you know free to move forward again. So those are the three trigger points according to the Road to Ruta. We have a trigger point at $1,900, which is the old high for gold. We have a trigger point at $2,000, which is a big fat round number. And we have a trigger point for $2,400, which is the doubling of the old uh, Bitcoin high from way back. That, at least that's the big swear take. Um, is it correct? Uh, I don't know, could be, should be. Uh, we'll find out more as the days and weeks go on. But according to me, that's where I think these big moves will happen. And we'll see if it really goes down, if it's something that uh, uh, is baked in the cake. And then there's a third, or a fourth. There's a fourth uh, potential. And this is the potential I always tell myself, 
don't trade the markets because this might happen. Don't trade the markets because this might happen. And that fourth potential is a suckering of the market riggers and the bigger players, suckering in them into thinking that these uh, these pullbacks are going to happen, the, the traders are going to do this or that, and then ultimately it never happens. And so Bitcoin just keeps, I keep saying silver, Bitcoin keeps just running up and up and up and up. And that is why I don't trade at all because I know it's massively undervalued in relation to the US dollar and the unbacked fiat monetary system. And remember, Bitcoin is a global currency. It's not just the US dollar we're talking about here. It's these big players are all around the world and they all want to get in um, in a big way and they have the ability to run the markets. It's when they fight against each other that the trigger points are just blown by and all, it's just smooth sailing uh, up until the next orchestrated crash, which may never come. And that's kind of what I've been looking for in silver is absolutely a, uh, a situation where the bad guys and the riggers are, are left in the dust and they, have, they end up either getting uh, destroyed financially because they were short, which is a, a death wish, um, or they full on go and get a, um, on, I almost crashed again. <laughs> I gotta stop during these car videos. Um, either they get destroyed or they just get taken out of their position and they, they if they wanna get back in the market, they gotta go back and do the same thing over again and, and get a big position, which is gonna drive the market up even farther. So that's kind of where we are in Bitcoin, the three trigger points. And then the fourth outlier is that uh, black swan event for traders that uh, I wanna be loaded up at that point for both silver and Bitcoin. This is Big Square. Subscribe to this video, give it a thumbs up, tell your friends, and uh, we're gonna win this battle. I'll talk to you later.